Hello, welcome to FMOD in two minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're looking at something called quantization. Now here I've got a very simple scenario with two loops for a video game. As you can see, I have two transition regions up here in green. The first one is to an end stinger, which is played at the very end of a fight. And it can happen at any point in the battle, which means that it's been dragged across the entire music. You'll see at the bottom here, under the transition conditions, I have the HP parameter being used and the value is set to zero. Basically meaning that when the HP or the life of the boss hits zero, at any point in the fight it will transition to this final stinger. Very simple and very straightforward. However, I want to now create a transition from loop one to loop two, i.e. there are two intensities to the fight, each described with its own loop of music. So I have a transition region up here, just the same. However, down here using the HP parameter, I have the value set from zero to 70, i.e. I only want this second loop to start playing below 70 life or HP. Now, unlike the end stinger, I don't want this transition to happen as soon as the value dips below 70, because then it will sound something like this. Very jagged and not very smooth at all, which is not what we want. It sounds very obvious, it's going to break our immersion and ruin our gamer experience. So instead, what I've done with this piece of music is written it to transition smoothly at the end of every four bars. So down here, I'm going to click on the transition region and go down here. And on the quantization interval, we can choose when the transition lines appear. And you can see at the top, every time I click on a new one, I add a different value of lines, transition lines at the top. So we're gonna set it to four, and you can even do it to notes if you wanna be very extreme. Really depends on how you've written the music. I'm gonna set it to four, and now you can see that every time this value dips below 70, it will not transition until it reaches a new green line, as you can see. Already way smoother, and no matter where I put it, if the value dips below 70, it has to wait until the next transition line. So as always, this is just one instance in which you can use quantization and this feature in FMOD. I hope it inspires you to think of ways to use it for your given scenario and um, as always, like and subscribe for more weekly videos. Thanks.